Hello, I'm Marissa. I am Eat This Not That social media director, and we are about to go live with a member of our medical expert board, Denise Fay. Denise is a nutrition consultant, journalist, and athlete committed to changing people's lives for the better. During his 20 years at the Beachbody Company, he guided the creation of dozens of nutrition programs that have helped millions get, res get results. He is a writer that has been featured in dozens of publications, including the New York Times, the Los Angeles Times, Outside Men's Health and Men's Journal. And today he is going to be leading a Q&A with the theme of an eating out survival guide. So he will be answering questions that you submitted all about making healthy choices while you are out to eat. Uh, hello, how are you? Hey, hey, I'm good. How are you? I am great. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, I'm glad to be here. It's always it's always fun to be invited and talk to you. Right Absolutely. Absolutely. Same here. I'm so excited to have you. For those tuning in, again, we are about to go through some questions that you, our followers, submitted all about how to remain healthy when you're eating out. It's going to be a survival guide of sorts. So, Denise, is there anything that you would like to say before we hop right into these uh, dining out questions? Well, um, as the title of your company indicates, it's <laughs> kind of what you do. So um, I actually have my computer behind me with a couple of articles from um, other nutrition experts called up that I can refer to. Uh, to be honest, my philosophy might be a little bit different from a lot of other ones, but uh, I, I do think there's some good points in here. So I'm going to kind of bounce back and forth between my own, you know, personal thoughts and uh some of these these articles but i gotta say if this is a topic that interests you go to eat this not that <laughs> and start looking around or just do a google search because you're going to end up here anyway absolutely so, perfect okay so let's jump right in the first question that we got was what menu buzzwords should i look out for to weed out the unhealthiest options what about the healthy ones so two-parter there yeah, um, it's really tricky because the, uh, terms get co-opted a lot and, you know, someone will say healthy, but what is healthy and, um, you know, all that. So I guess in terms of don't believe anything, I mean, don't like, like just kind of don't buy into the, the, uh, the hogwash. Um, there's a reason with all due respect to fast food, and Lord knows I've eaten enough fast food in my life, there's a reason it's yummy um, and affordable. It's because they put a whole bunch of sugar, salt, and fat in it, and, and they make it, which are all very cheap things, unfortunately also not terribly healthy things, into the food to make it delicious and affordable. So even the healthy things are still going to have that sort of nest to them. So I, I guess what you could do, um, two things, and we're going to go, you had asked some questions about red meat and stuff, we'll deal with it in a second, but um, there are two things that we, we just know are bad for us, right? Okay. Fried, fried is bad, yep. and added sugar is bad. Okay. You, in moderation, fine, but you're not doing yourselves any favors. So if you go to a fast food place and your goal is to get not the nastiest option, Right. Those are the two things. Okay, everything has sugar in it. Sadly, like most chicken nuggets and stuff, has sugar. It's weird, but um, but there's some things that are very sugar forward, like a like soda, or sure. you know, you know, you know what that is, right? Okay. And generally, if it tastes sweet, there's a ton of sugar in it. So, so right. they. Oh. Okay. Cool. So sugar and fried. Um, what about healthy ones? Are there any things to look out for? I mean, maybe beyond fast food, but just if you're out scanning a menu. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty much universally known that uh, the whole world needs more vegetables. Sure. Like, it, <laughs> you're never going to find, well, you might, there's probably some diet somewhere that I don't know about, but um, a diet that's like, yeah, I stay away from vegetables. <laughs> so um, if you can, if you can do that, if you can think vegetables, I'm not talking about potato. I mean, potatoes okay. That's a different yeah. conversation. But you know, uh, salads, like like a lot of times at restaurants, you you and fast food places, you'll have your your sandwich. It's always a sandwich, 
and and then you have your thing you eat with your sandwich and we're always compelled to have that thing you eat with your sandwich if you can make that thing you eat with your sandwich vegetables yeah. really not bread and fried or sugared if that's a thing i've never heard of sugared vegetables i'm sure someone's <laughs> going to invent that um yeah uh you're you're you, you you're taking a step in the right direction. Okay, cool. And then the next question is the one that you just brought up. It is, uh, is there such a thing as a healthy fast food hamburger? So it's such a loaded question. It's so yeah. red meat is, is I mean, it's, it's, if you're a, like a nutrition nerd, uh, it's pretty fun to get on the internet and just watch the, just the battles going on over red meat, especially right now. You know, there'll be study. I mean, the prevailing wisdom is that red meat is red meat and processed meat, you know, like bacon and sausage and stuff right. are bad for you. And there's a school of thought that that maybe it's just the processed stuff and the red meat's not so bad. Or then maybe there's some red meats that are better. <clears throat> and then like the, the USDA a couple, I think like a couple of years ago, a year ago, came out with new guidelines and didn't really sandbag red meat, but didn't have a lot of nice things to say and people got really mad. It just, and just remember when you're reading all this stuff, there's vested interests behind all of it. There's, right. there's, there are a lot of people who make a lot of money selling cow meat. So they're going to keep pushing that. I'm not saying I'm siding on the non cow meat side. I'm just saying <laughs> that, that there's always, even in science, there's always backing interest. So, the way I like to think of it is, um, you know, uh, there's sat unsat or excuse me, saturated fats and red meat and all that. There's stuff saying that that it's bad. There's stuff saying it's not bad. I like to hedge my bets. If that's what you eat, just eat some. Mm -hmm. Pretty much everyone agrees that like a little bit, you know, once or twice a week is fine. So let's get back to your hamburger now. I'm sorry. No, um, all great. Yeah. So, um, I mean, if you're really, if you're really hell bent on the wonders of red meat, yeah. um, as a healthy thing, if I, I personally don't, I, I'm, I don't eat red meat, but my, my whole family does. And I've barbecued many a hamburger, um, for them, but, um, I would just make it at home. I, I would, that way you can control the narrative, you know, and you can get really good meat and, and you can and you can have like a nice whole wheat bun or no bun if you want and the, the condiments and the vegetables you put on it are all the ones you pick and it's really easy to do that so that said from my meat eating days i remember there is some really good <laughs> you know, like I, I i don't know if i'm supposed to say brands but i distinctly remember what an in and out hamburger tastes like i, I haven't had one in 25 years but if I could draw a picture of flavor, I could tell you those things were, they were darn good. Sure. So if that's what you eat, eat it, but just do it in moderation. Don't be like, oh, I'm gonna get the healthiest hamburger. Just get your hamburger, yes. enjoy it. Understanding that you might be doing your soul a favor, but you're not doing your body a favor. Yeah, that's a good way of looking at it. Mm -hmm. Um, on a similar note, the next question is, is it possible to order a healthy meal at a fast food restaurant? Um, you know, at Beachbody, we had this argument a lot and for SEO, I don't know if everyone knows what SEO is, sure. but it's sure it's, it's, it makes it so that when you, you know, look for things on the internet, it's easier to find. And they wanted to use the word healthy. And my team was like, no, right. <laughs> no such thing as a healthy cheesecake. And so we, we came to uh, uh, the middle ground of healthier okay. and you'll see that a lot. Yeah. People say healthier. So it's not healthy but it's healthier Absolutely. than the other thing. So I do think in fast food restaurants, you can make healthier choices. And that's again, where eat this, not that comes into play. I'm looking at two articles right here. Uh, one is 11 fast food orders, um, 11 healthy. Well, you guys said healthy, <laughs> oops. Um, uh, fast food orders according to dietitians. And another one is, um, oops, sorry scrolling uh the seven healthiest fast food restaurants according to that yeah so so, so, so you know and the healthy or or the healthy buyers and choices what would they be 
All right. So um, do you want to do the restaurants or the food choices? Let's go with food choices since that is what this person asked for. Okay. So again, stay away from fried stuff, right? Yeah. Like, like if it's, you know what fried is. Everyone knows what fried is. Don't fry it and, and stay away from sugar and, and have lots of greens in it. Um, if, and, uh, you know, like, for example, if you want to get chicken, chicken is uh, debatably better than red meat. Um, and a lot of people say that. I don't want to make people angry, but I'm sure. just kind of going on the science. Um, if you get it breaded and fried, you've lost, you just kind of took a big step back. Okay. But a lot of restaurants will have like a grilled chicken. So go with that, awesome. right? Um, the, the whole whole grain versus not whole grain at, at fast food places is complete malarkey. Okay. So I just really wouldn't worry about that. It's kind of hard to convince most of the time. It's like maybe there's a little bit of whole grain in there, but not really. So just don't worry about that. If that bothers you, you can do like a lettuce wrap kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and again, you know, we talked earlier, pick vegetables and salads. When you do the big thing about the, the um, you'll get like, um, you know, you'll get like a, a schooner or a small boat filled with vegetables and then a super tanker of salad dressing. Yes. <laughs> no, you don't have to eat. It's not a law. There's no law. There's no commandment. There's no 11th commandment that says thou shalt eat all the salad dressing. So, so use some of it. Like, like some people do. I know some people put it in a little cup and then dip their fork in the dressing and then dip, dip their fork okay. in the food. Um, I just put kind of half like generally half seems to be a pretty good amount if they give you two super tankers of dressing because they're trying to be nice and mm -hmm. God bless them for being nice just use one of the super tankers and set the other super tanker out to see cause an oil slick in the gulf i don't know what you want to do with it but you don't need it awesome well that is a perfect segue into our next question which was what is the healthiest salad dressing to choose at a restaurant yeah <laughs> um a lot of them a lot of like uh um fast food restaurants especially ones that have salad bars you'll have all those really amazing delicious creamy dressings and then you'll have the boring old spout of vinegar and the boring old spout of olive oil that's really the best way to go mm -hmm. um it, it's not as interesting it's not as decadent it's just, just but that's that's, I mean, that's all I eat on salads. Yeah. So that's what you, you, you know, that, that's kind of what you want. Perfect. Okay. And then the last salad question we did get as well is I don't want to derail my diet when eating, but I also don't want to be stuck ordering just salads. So what other choices might be healthy? Um, so I, I think that you can live your life and not be derailed. I, yeah. I, I think that you can eat, you eat things that you perceive as yummy and decadent and still have a perfectly good good diet just understand what you're doing don't supersize um you know eat healthy the rest of the time if you know once a week or or less <laughs> every couple weeks or something you want to go in and and have some fast food just enjoy your life it's just don't make it a daily event yeah you know? So don't worry about that. Like, like you're not there. There, I don't believe that it is possible to create a completely healthy diet with fast food. I don't think that's been done, right? Or can be done. And I mean, hilariously, it's just the opposite. Like, there's an old movie called um, Super Size Me that demonstrates. Have you seen that I one? Have. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, yeah. it's, you're not going to do that. You're not going right. to win. So in, instead of trying to make this awesome diet of fast food, just have it every now and then and just really enjoy it. I yeah. eat donuts, I drink beer, I eat burritos. I, I eat all those things. I just don't eat them every day. Yes, that makes total sense. And for those watching that may not know, Super Size Me, I believe the concept was he ate fast food every single day for every single meal. Yeah, for like a bunch oh. of days. He gained weight, yeah. like, like for months or something. Oh. What? Like, I don't know how many days, but his liver shut down. It's, it's a pretty cool documentary. It Morgan Spurlock, I think, is the name of the guy. So, yeah, it's worth checking out. Yes, but not not your recommendation to be. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not doing that. So, and there's a funny. There's another guy a few years back who did like the Twinkie diet, 
Like he, he said, I'm going to eat nothing but Twinkies. But when you really look at what he did, he was secretly eating like canned vegetables. Okay. So, so like, that's not a Twinkie diet. You're lying. No. But, you know. Yeah. I can't that's... imagine a Twinkie. Would you like to do a Twinkie diet? Most definitely not. No. No? I don't have a Twinkie. Um, you, but, what? You, did you say you've you never know, had a Twinkie? I don't think so. I've had other hostess snacks in my childhood, but I very few. Never a Twinkie? Wow, I'm I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. We will have to give one a try. You, you should. It's, you know what you could do actually is buy a Twinkie and then wait until you're like seventy, <laughs> and then open it up. It'll probably taste exactly the way it tasted. Yeah. yeah, they last forever. <laughs> um. Okay. Someone in the comments says not worth it. Not worth it. So thank you to for his okay. warning. Um. By the way, another good movie. Can I Zombie Land? Where Woody Harrelson is desperate for a Twinkie. That is the movie. Yeah. <laughs> so just instead of eating a Twinkie, just watch that movie, which is pretty great. Mm -hmm. And then you'll have the same. You'll have a guilty pleasure. Let Woody Harrelson have your guilty pleasure. Perfect. Um, okay. Now we have which fast food restaurants have the healthiest options. So that is the other article I believe you had prepared. Yes. So let's give them that answer as well. All right. Let's do this. Um, According to you guys, number one is Chipotle. Now, I, I'm prone to agree I like Chipotle. The thing is, um, it's really easy to make really, really big burritos. Yes. It, so keep in mind that it's not like not like another fast food restaurant where they might give you a, a certain portion. So when you're going through, you know, get, get the bowl or the salad instead of the burrito mm -hmm. and don't have it overflowing have just it, it, the responsibility is on you to get a reasonable amount um mod pizza tv never heard of mod pizza it's a similar concept um of choosing your own ingredients so i assume there's opportunity to like you've recommended focus on vegetables yep. um and put that on the pizza. all right cool starbucks yeah 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 that's pretty good and you know what i do like about starbucks is their portions are tiny um it's sometimes for an American brain, you walk in and you're like, that's all? That's all I get? But believe it or not, that's actually a reasonable portion. So yay on you, Starbucks. And then you go and you order your like like 10 ton Frappuccino and ruin all your good work and your food ordering, but um, don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know. Uh, and then there was Jason's Deli again. Is that an East I'm Coast thing? Not sure, but if you have one local to you, now you know that's yeah. a... Yeah, yeah. They have a lot of salads in here. Way to go, Jason. Cool. Good choices. <laughs> um, Panera, and uh, which is kind of ironic to me because it's a, the bread's right there in the title. Sure. Um, <laughs> but apparently they have they have a, there's a Mediterranean bowl, yep. veggie sandwich. By the way, yeah, I didn't really bring that up, but places that do have things like... Um, bowls and salads that's that's if that's the choice that's usually a pretty good way to go um i'm not anti-bread but i'm anti crap tons of crappy bread so um so yeah that's probably a good idea and and um yeah so fruit cups greek yogurt yeah that sounds like a good place uh another one i'm really embarrassed that i i know i know quite a bit about nutrition and i don't know these restaurants okay kava oh kava Kava is delicious. Oh. It is oh. um, all Greek-based Mediterranean bowls, very similar to Chipotle, but pitas and bowls. So I assume you would you'd make the same recommendation of sticking to the bowls and the salads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Stick stick with the bowls and the salads. And um, I, I, Mediterranean have really good dips. Be mindful that those dips pack a caloric punch, so less is more. Sure. Uh, there's no Twinkies at Kava, apparently. And then uh, Chick Chick Filla, which, I, again, I'm very yeah. aware of them. They're everywhere. I, I have to admit, I've never been to one. So, yeah. but I'm sure you know. Again, if it's if it's grilled yeah. chicken, grilled chicken is a pretty. Uh, it looks like they have some egg white stuff. Um, cool. I, I'm pro whole egg, but whatever. Um, you know, if you uh, it, it, grilled chicken is as far as animal protein goes, a pretty good route. So, awesome. Yes. Perfect. Um, and then our last question is also perfect because you did 
on this a bit already, but how can I avoid overeating when at a restaurant with big portion sizes? So add it one of your Chipotle's or something like that. Yeah. Um, if, um, well, if they give you something and it seems big, it's big. There's no, like, I, I really feel that kind of we as a culture need to accept personal responsibility. Sure. <laughs> it's the, it's super size. It yeah. literally says super size. Um, you know, and, and like a, like a double gulp, that's double. There's a word in there. Yeah. Like, like we know if we really check in with ourselves, what's too much food. And I think it's about going to a restaurant and being mindful and, and first thinking about what you order and asking yourself, is this big? Are they marketing it as big? Are they proud that they're giving you a big thing? And if the answer is yes, it's probably too big. But if you want that big thing, if you want that Whopper or Big Mac or four by four or whatever, okay, cut it in half. Like, like you, that's all you need. Mm -hmm. And, um, and that's okay. And, and yeah, I, I'm not an advocate of food waste, but as far as food goes, fast food is pretty cheap and crappy and it's probably the best food to waste. And you know, you're, you're going to waste some food or you're going to waste yourself. It's kind of a, question so you know and do that and just really you know get regular sized things and, and don't be drawn into the fact that if you pay 50 more cents you get twice as much that's neat yeah but you're not you're not really you're paying 50 cents for something that's hurting you you sure. know what I mean like I go in the store okay go to the fast food place get your burger and fries give me 50 cents and I'll punch you in the head are you gonna do that no <laughs> So, so don't get a bunch of food you don't need that's unhealthy. You know what I mean? Yes. So there. Okay. Um, I do have to say one note about the hamburger that just occurred to me is all that business about grass fed and all that. Um, it, it, it's, yes, it's probably better for the cows. Yes, it's probably better for the planet. Uh, oh, definitely. But um, it's, there's really no hard research showing that that meat is any better for human beings than the other meat. So, again, I'm in favor of it. I, I buy, you know, when I buy my family meat, I don't eat meat. When I buy my family meat, I, I, I get them the top shelf stuff because I do, I do care about the sustainability and the environment and all that and the cows. I like happy cows. Um, but I don't do it thinking I'm giving them healthier food. I'm, I'm, that's, that's, don't fool yourself into thinking that. Okay. Um, awesome. Well, those were all of our questions. Um, thank you so much for thank you. always a pleasure. Please, before we sign off, let everyone know where they can find you and follow for more tips like these. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm around. I'm my big thing is this my Substack, uh, the new personal best, uh, uh, Substack and it's Substack at Denise A. I have one N in my first name because my parents did that. D E N I S F A Y E. Um, you can either search that or search new personal best and you'll probably find it and join there. It, it really kind of focuses more on sports nutrition, but if you ask me a question that interests me, I'm happy to go off script and answer that. Um, and then I'm on all the usual social medias and uh, I'll be here. In a bit. Awesome. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Ken. Thank you to everyone tuning in. If you tuned in late, um, this will live on our Instagram forever. So please go back and watch. It was so informative. Thank you again for joining us. I hope we can do it again soon. Thank you. It was really super awesome. fun. Awesome. Same here. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Bye.